Good evening and welcome to Waterloo High School as we've got a Mississippi Valley Conference game between the Civic Memorial Eagles and your Waterloo Bulldogs. Bulldogs come into tonight's game with an eight game winning streak and leading the conference the record of three and one 12 and five overall led by head coach CJ Cruiser in his third year here at Waterloo Civic Memorial comes into tonight's game with a record of two and two in the conference, 12 and eight overall, and are led by head coach Doug Carey. Civic Memorial has a big 6'8 center, Jacob Lowrance, and he's leading the team with an average of 16.3. So that'll be the uh, the object the Bulldogs defense is to stop their big guy. It's like he's he's shooting some three-pointers in warm-ups. So he can he can move outside or move inside. Bulldogs are led by senior Shane Lenhart. He is 6'5. And he is averaging over 12 points a game. like 12.1 for Shane so after two knee surgeries he's back putting points on the board he had 26 in the Bulldogs championship win at at Sparta last Saturday night as the Bulldogs defeated Murfreesboro 58-54 championship game Bulldogs going 4-0 in that Sparta Midwinter Classic to win back-to-back -back tournament championships. And we are moments away from the starting lineups. The national Anthem and then the starting lineups. Starting lineup for the visiting Hawks. It forward will be a 6-1 senior. Number 15, Tyler Campbell. At a guard, a 6-1 sophomore. Number 23, Brett Lane. And another forward, a 6-5 senior. Number 33, Ben Walker. At one guard, a 5'11 senior. Number 34, Jansen Helm Helmkamp. And of course, the center. He's 6'7, a junior. Number 50, Jacob Lowrance. And now, our national anthem. That was a Waterloo High School band performing the National Anthem. Both 
the Civic Memorial Eagles are led by head coach Doug Carey, assistants Jared Reynolds, Mike Eddy, and Gary Bruning. Starting lineup for the Bulldogs. It'll be the same five they've had quite a while. Six three senior number three Zach Schaub at one guard. At another guard, a six foot junior number eleven Ryan Acock. At the other guard, the point guard, is a five eleven senior number twelve Daniel Gardner. Actually, at the another third guard, is Schaub will be playing forward tonight. The third guard is a 5'11 junior, number 23, Rick Wiegand. And starting at center is a 6'3 senior, number 33, Shane Lenhart. Tim Albers is introducing the Bulldogs starting lineup now. Bulldogs PA announcer. On the camera. On the camera tonight for me will be Dylan Hunt. As I said before, Lenhart leading the Bulldogs. An average. Lenhart leads the Bulldogs with an average of 12.1, followed by Schaub. He's averaging 10.1. Acock, eight points. We got 7.4 and Daniel Gardner 5.4. Bulldog cheerleaders do their pregame cheer, and we're just moments away from opening tip off.
Welcome back to Waterloo High School as the Bulldogs are in a defensive battle against the Civic Memorial Eagles. The Eagles are playing a 1-3-1 one, one, one zone defense and Bulldogs have only scored one basket by Rick Wiegand. It's 5-2 to two to start this second quarter. Bulldogs with the ball. What you have to do against this zone is penetrate, dish off or be a shooter and Huffman a three-point shot no good LaWarren with the rebound there's a three-point shot no good by Adam Hill into the game for the Eagles pass underneath to Huffman he's blocked Gardner resets the offense down five to two 720 to go in the first quarter Actually, we're in the second quarter, even though it's only 5-2. to two. Good pass from Gardner to Schaub, and he missed the easy shot, but he was fouled. Schaub will be shooting two free throws, trying to get Bulldogs back to within a point. 7-11 to go in the, in the second quarter. First shot by Schaub is no good. So the Bulldogs are 0 for 2 from the free throw line. As Johnny Albers comes into the game for the Bulldogs, replacing Reed Huffman, who is 0 for 2 from the three-point line. So Albers is in the game. Hopefully can make some three-pointers for the Bulldogs. Schaub's second shot is good. Makes it 5 to 3, Eagles. Seven minutes remaining in the second quarter. Warren with the ball. Down underneath the Lawrence and he scores. Lawrence with his first basket. And it's seven to three. Lawrence averaging 16. Point three points a game. He's got his first basket. Gardner drives to the basket and he is blocked by Lawrence. So the first block of the game. Actually, I think that's his third block of the game. Bulldogs need a defensive stop here. Lenhart guarding Lawrence. Puts a move on, fade away, no good. Rebound by Gardner. Skip pass to Albers. Back to Gardner to reset the offense. Pass underneath to Wigan. Misses the shot. Felt the pressure from Lorenz. Randy Warren back to Hill. The Warren to Hill to Helm Camp. Lorance out at the head of the key. It's a good place to keep him. Walker. Lorance. Back to Hill, and we've got a steal. Albers steals the ball, and then he call is called for the travel as he as he fell on the on the floor. So it'll maintain possession for the Eagles. Helmkamp thought about the three, drives the lane, kicks it back out to Walker, to Helmkamp. And now we've got a steal as Gardner comes up with the steal. So a turnover.
Halber is a long two-point shot, two shot. No good. Rebound by Schaub, and he puts it right back in. So Schaub has three and cuts the lead to two. It's seven to five Eagles. 4-10 to go in the second quarter. Into Helmkamp, a low post. Shot is up and good. Helmkamp has five of the nine. It's nine to five Eagles. Gardner drives, dishes off to Schaub. Back to Gardner, to Schaub. Shot from the corner is up, no good. Rebound by Tommy Flack of the Eagles. And we've got a whistle and a foul. It's going to be on Daniel Gardner. That'll be his first foul. Bulldogs now have three personal fouls. Eagles have four. Bulldogs looking for a defensive stop here underneath the Lorenz. Over to Flack. The ball is knocked, blocked by Wigan. Albers with the ball. Two. Back to Wigan. Now down to Wigan. To Lenhart. He drives the basket. Up is blocked from behind by Lorenz. Now we got a steal by Gardner. Schaub is blocked by Lorenz. And we've got a whistle and a foul on Albers. That'll be his first foul. Helmkamp on the trigger underneath. Walker underneath. It's a three-point shot by Lane. No good. Rebound by Schaub. Albers with the ball. Wigan skip pass to Gardner. Underneath the Linhart. Shot is blocked again by Lorenz. He is having a blockathon tonight. Walker thought about the 17 footer, brings it back. Lane, the sophomore, with the ball. Eagles up by four, nine to five at 2.08 to go in the first half. Walker shot, no good. Rebound by Lenhart. Gardner wants to drive, and he loses the handle of the ball. Turnover. So 150 to go. Bulldogs still down by four, nine to five. Like Helmkamp drug his pivot foot there. No call. Shot is missed. Rebound by Schaub. His fourth rebound of the first half. 1.30 to go in the first half, and we've got a kick out of bounds. It'll be Bulldogs' ball. As yeah, Schaub takes a seat, and Reed Huffman comes in for the Bulldogs, and he'll be throwing the ball in. Gardner with the ball. Good pass from Gardner to Lenhart for the basket. Another great assist from Daniel Gardner, and that's how you got to beat this zone. It's 9-7 to seven Eagles now with 105 to go in the first half. Bulldogs looking for a stop. Try and tie this game before halftime. Uh, we've got a whistle and a foul. Looks like it's going to be on Wigan. And Tommy Flack. Foul is called on Albers, his second. At the line is number 14, Tommy Flack. He'll be shooting two. 50.8 seconds to go. First shot is good by Flack. That makes it 10 to 7.
Second shot by Flack is also good, and it's 11 to 7. We're down to 50 seconds to go in the first half. Bulldogs moving the ball around the arc. Albers drives, in, pass into Lenhart, and he almost puts it on the reverse layup, but he was fouled, and he'll go to the line shooting two. Good pass from Johnny Albers. It's Lenhart with two points tonight. First free throw is good. Into the game for the Bulldogs is Sam Dodd as he replaces Johnny Albers. Second free throw by Lenhart is strong, no good. Lorenz with the rebound. So it's 11 to 8 with 30 seconds remaining in the first half. The Warren with the ball. Looks like Eagles are going to go for the last shot here as we're down to 15 seconds remaining in the first half. Pass underneath the Laurent, or and he scores. Lawrence, the easy basket. There's five seconds left. Gardner shoots a long three-point shot. No good at the buzzer. So the first half ends with Civic Memorial on top, 13-8. to eight. And we'll be back in about nine minutes with the second half.
Welcome back to Waterloo High School. As the first half, we had a lowest scoring half of the season, I believe, as the Bulldogs are down 13 to 8 to the Civic Memorial Eagles. Bulldogs came into tonight's game with an eight game winning streak and leading the conference with a 3 and 1 record, 12 and 5 overall. Civic Memorial came into tonight's game. The record of two and two in the conference. So it's like Civic Memorial will have the ball to start the second half. Lorans out front. Back to Helmkamp. To Walker. Inside to the big guy. Each spin move is no good. Tip back and a rebound by Lane. Three point shot, no good. Rebound by Zach Schaub. Bulldogs down by five. And we've got a steal, turnover. But then Acock steals it right back. So Acock, turnover, and then a steal. So the Bulldogs still have the chance to cut into this lead. Gardner run the offense. Oh, a great pass underneath off of Schaub's hands. Another Bulldog turnover. Helmkamp wants to drive, and he's got a tie-up. Great defensive play by Wigan. So the Bulldogs will have the ball, and I'm going to call that a turnover. Tie-up with the ball going the other way. Gardner with the ball. Looking to pass. Gets it to Wegan in the corner. To Gardner. Thought about the three. Gardner wants to drive. Dishes back to Acock. Three point shot. No good. Oh, the ball goes, looked like off of the Eagle player, but Fishall did not think so. Shab tried to knock it off of the Eagle player. Lowrance out front. Walker. Walker in trouble, but gets it to Helm Camp. Helm Camp thought about the three. He drives the lane. His runner is up and good. J Jansen Helmkamp and he has seven and it's 15 to eight a seven point lead for the Eagles the Bulldogs are not hitting any three point shots tonight oh for the evening so far against this 1-3-1 one, one zone defense that the Eagles are throwing at them Pass underneath the shop. He gets it up off the backboard, high off the backboard. And Schaub now has, has five points. And it's 15 to 10. And we've got a whistle and a foul against Daniel Gardner. Helmkamp looked like he carried the ball, got away with it, and we've got a steal. Acock with the ball into 
into Lenhard and he scores. Got a good roll. Nice sauce touch by Lenhard and it's 15 to 12 as the Bulldogs are within three now. 4.35 to go in the third quarter. Walker wants to drive. He goes up, no good. Rebound by Schaub. Gardner drives, dishes to Lenhardt for the low. Easy basket. Another great assist, and we've got a timeout. As the Bulldogs have cut the lead to one. It is 15 to 14 with 4-12 remaining in the third quarter. So Civic Memorial calls the timeout. The first timeout of the game. As the Bulldogs are on a six to nothing run here. Four oh five remaining. Almost a steal by Acock. Helmkamp drives with the runner up and no good. Rebound by Lenhart. So the Bulldogs with the ball. Great pass underneath the shop. Up and in. Another assist from Gardner. Schaub now has seven points, and the Bulldogs have the lead for the first time in the game. Actually, second time. Lenhardt with the block. Bulldogs with the ball and the one-point lead. 3.20 remaining. There's Wegon, three-point shot, in and out, no good. Rebound by Tyler Campbell of the Eagles. Walker with the ball to Lorenz. Helmkamp into Walker in the paint. Spin move, up and in. Good shot by Walker. It gives the Eagles back the lead at 17-16. 2.45 remaining in the third quarter. And Gardner throws the ball away as he was not expecting Wigan to be coming towards him. So that is the Bulldogs' sixth turnover unofficially. Eight turnovers for the Eagles. Lane with the ball to Helm Camp. Back to Lane. Into the big guy. There's an air ball by Warren. Is Reed Huffman catches that air ball. Bulldogs down by one. Acock. Back to Gardner. To Acock. To Schaub. In the corner. Back to Acock. To Schaub. To Acock. There's a three-point shot. Too strong. No good. Rebound by Lorenz. Of the Eagles. Helmkamp. To Lane. Drive to the basket. Shot is up and good by Tommy Flack. And he has four points. And the Eagle lead is up to three. 19-16. 125 to go in the third quarter. Bulldogs still looking for their first three. Huffman's open in the corner. Oh, and the job throws the ball away. Another Bulldog turnover. That's seven turnovers tonight, and we've got a timeout, Waterloo, their first timeout. It's just when the Bulldogs had come back and taken the lead, 16-15, the Eagles have gone on a 4-0 run. 
and taking back the lead and will have the ball with 1.13 to go in the third quarter, 19-16. Schaub and Shane Lenhart both have seven points for the Bulldogs. We gone with two. Their total of 16. Helmkamp has seven for the Eagles. Lorentz and Flack both have four and Walker two. And Lane two for the Eagles. In this very low scoring game, I think the first First team to 30 might win this game as it, we are sitting at 19-16 with only a minute 13 left to go in the third quarter. Hill with the ball for the Eagles. Oh, he almost double dribbled there as he lost control of it and we've got a whistle and a foul Reed Huffman picks up his first foul so Hill trigger man for the Eagles Hill out front to the big guy Lawrence Flack to Helm Camp Helmkamp wants to drive, looking for somebody to pass to. Back to Hill, the back to Helmkamp to LaWarn. Hill. Almost a turnover, and Coach Carey calls a timeout for the Eagles as they were getting a little sloppy with the ball there. We're down to 31 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Eagles of Civic Memorial on top, 19 to 16 in this Mississippi Valley Conference game. Bulldogs on an eight game winning streak. The cameraman tonight is Dylan Hunt doing a great job. So we're bringing you Waterloo Bulldogs basketball on whs.htc.net LaWarren he drives, he used his forearm got away with it Black. it's a shot by LaWarren and he banks it home Randy LaWarren picks up his first basket and it's 21 Three-point shot by Reed Huffman. Yes, as the Bulldogs finally hit a three. And it's a long shot at the buzzer, no good. So at the end of three quarters, Civic Memorial is on top, 21 to 19 over our Waterloo Bulldogs. And we'll be right back for fourth quarter action in about a minute. Welcome back to Waterloo High School basketball. As we're ready to start the fourth quarter here, Bulldogs are down by two, 21 to 19. Yes, that is the fourth quarter score, 21-19. Not the first half. Fourth quarter begins with Helmkamp bringing the ball across midcourt for the Eagles. Back to Lawrence, to Lane. Underneath the Lawrence, he brings it back out to Helmkamp. 
Walker thought about the three. Trying to get it to Lorenz. Good defense by Reed Huffman. Helmkamp with the move. Pull back. And the shot is no good. Huffman with the rebound. 7.20 remaining in the fourth quarter. Eagles on top by two as the Bulldogs try to tie the game or take the lead here. Skip pass to Wigan. Wigan with the ball. As Gardner's on the bench for the first time tonight. Johnny Albers in the game. Albers with the ball. Three-point shot is up. No good. And we've got an over the back. No call. So the Bulldogs will maintain possession. But it should have been a foul call there. As Gardner and Acock check back into the game. As Wigan and Huffman head to the bench. So Bulldogs down by two. 6.46 to go in the fourth quarter. Gardner with the ball. Back to Albers. To Acock. To Albers. Acock and Albers playing catch here. To Gardner. Resets the offense out front. To Albers. To Gardner. To Albers. Acock to Gardner, looking for Schaub underneath, and he is blocked, blocked by Lawrence Walker with the ball. In the Lawrence guarded by Schaub, kicks it back out, Helm Camp. Campbell back underneath to Lorenz. Turnaround jump shot off the glass is good. Jacob Lorenz now has six points. Averaging 16.3. He's been held to six, but the Eagles have a four-point lead. 5.25 to go in the fourth quarter. Gardner with the ball. He drives, pulls it back out. Bulldogs doing a lot of standing around on offense. Need to move. Schaub thought about going up, but Lawrence was an intimidating figure underneath. Gardner, three-point shot is up and good. Daniel Gardner with the three. And he's on the board. He actually has more assists than he does points tonight. Four assists go along with that three points. There's a pass. Oh, we're going to call a foul on Schaub on that one. It's the Bulldogs' third foul. This half, Schaub's first foul. Doing a good job guarding the big guy, Jacob Lawrence. 6'7", Schaub 6'3". Lawrence underneath. Shot is up, no good. Gets his own rebound. Puts it up and blocked. And it's off of an Eagle player. So a block by Shane Lenhart. Into the game for the Bulldogs is Reed Huffman replacing Johnny Albers, who last week, Thursday, signed a contract to play uh, baseball for Purdue University Calumet in Hammond, Indiana. Four-year scholarship for Albers. Schaub thought about the three, but it's not his shot. Bulldogs are down by one, 23-22. As we're approaching four minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Looks like the Bulldogs called timeout right before 
Acock decided to shoot the ball and made a three, but it did not count. So Bulldogs call their second timeout with 3.57 to go in the fourth quarter. Eagles are on top, 23-22. And I'm sticking to my 30 points. First team to 30 might win this game. Leading scorer tonight's game has seven points. It's Jason Helmkamp of the Eagles and Shane Linhart and Zach Schaub of the Bulldogs, all with seven. So nobody's got double digits in scoring. Unofficially, Helmkamp has seven blocks. It might be more. He is definitely a big force out there. He is six foot seven, 230 pound junior, averaging 16.3 points and 7.3 rebounds a game. I didn't look to see how many blocks he averages a game. Bulldogs with the ball and stolen by LaWarren. Turnover by Schaub. So the Eagles with the one point lead in the ball. Black with the ball. Could have been a travel, no call. Lane wants to drive the baseline. Stopped by Acock. Helmkamp out front. Spin move on Garter. He goes up with the shot off the glass is good. Jason Helmkamp. And he's got nine points. Lead is back to three, 25-22. There's a three-point shot by Huffman. No good. This ball must have went off of Acock as it'll be Eagles ball. Wegon back in the game for the Bulldogs replaces Reed Huffman. 2.55 to go in the fourth quarter. Bulldogs need a stop now. A little pressure put on. Helm camp to Lane. And that could have been a travel, no call. Underneath the flak, back out to Helm camp. Lawrence wanted the ball at the free throw line, didn't get it. Helm camp to Lawrence. And Lawrence almost throws it away as Walker was going towards the basket. We've got a whistle. It's like timeout, Civic Memorial. That'll be their third timeout. As we're at two minutes and 22 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Civic Memorial on top, 25-22 over our Bulldogs. Not much scoring in tonight's game as it'll be pretty easy to wrap up this game. Thus we go into about seven overtimes, which is quite possible. The Bulldogs could get a defensive stop here and make a three. We'd be all tied up as it is a one possession game. Eagles ball underneath their own basket. Back to home camp, three point shot, no good. Rebound by Lenhart. So Bulldogs with the ball down by three. We're down to 210 to go in the fourth quarter.
Schaub with the ball out front. To Gardner, to Acock, back to Gardner, thought about the three. To Wegon, Bulldogs running some clock here. Skip pass to Acock, to Gardner, thought about the three. Wegon shoots the three and makes it, and we're all tied. 25 all. It's Rick Wegon has five points. 25-25 in the Bulldogs with the steal by Gardner. Bulldogs with the ball and a chance to take the lead here as we're down to 115 to go in the fourth quarter. In fact, the Bulldogs might go for the last shot here. Yeah, as they're just passing the ball out front as we're down to one minute remaining in the fourth quarter. And the Eagles are not putting... Big time pressure on Wegon. The count has not started yet. Skip pass over to Acock, to Gardner. We're down to 45 seconds to go. Gardner double teamed. Gets it to Wegon. Back to Gardner. To Wegon. We're down to 30 seconds. Bulldogs are going for the last shot here. And Coach Cruiser calls timeout. 26 seconds remaining. That's the Bulldogs' third timeout. So both teams have two timeouts left. And we've got a tied score. And what did I say about overtime? Hopefully not seven overtimes, but the Bulldogs can maintain possession and get the last shot. They could not lose in regulation. The key is maintaining possession over these last these last 26 seconds. Fouls, very few fouls in this second half. The Bulldogs have committed three and the Eagles have not committed one foul in the whole second half. That is hard to believe that you could go 15 and a half minutes and not commit one foul, but that's what's happened tonight. In fact, the Eagles have only committed four fouls all night. And the Bulldogs have committed eight. So no bonus shooting tonight unless we go a long way into overtime. All right, we're back to live action here as the Bulldogs will have the ball. Gardner gets the ball from Schaub in the backcourt. 24 seconds to go. Gardner comes over with 20 seconds to go to Acock, to Gardner. 15 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Still no pressure. Now a little pressure put on as we're down to 10. And we've got a whistle and a foul on number 23. Lane picks up his second foul. We're down to eight seconds to go, and Civic Memorial has five more fouls to give. And Lane picks up another foul. It'll be his third. And we're down to 5.7 seconds, so the strategy of Civic Memorial is use up some of these fouls. 5.7, Garter with the ball, down to two, one. Shot by Schaub at the buzzer, no good. And guess what? We are going into the first overtime, tied at 25 all. As yeah, Schaub shot at the buzzer, is off the back iron, no good. So we'll be right back for overtime number one, four minute overtime in about a minute.
Welcome back to Waterloo High School as we are in overtime, tied at 25 all. Mississippi Valley Conference game between the Civic Memorial Eagles and your Waterloo Bulldogs. Jacob Lawrence, 6'7", a junior, will be jumping against Zach Schaub to start this first overtime. And the Bulldogs get the tip as Lenhard comes up with it to Gardner, to Wegon. To Gardner, to Lenhart, back to Gardner, to Lenhart, to Gardner, to Wegon, to Gardner, to Lenhart in the corner, back to Gardner. The Bulldogs wouldn't run off almost four minutes to start this first overtime, would they? Gardner wants to drive, tries to pass it underneath to Wegon. He goes up and his shot is blocked and we've got a foul on Lawrence. His first foul. Lawrence could not believe it. So Wegon will be shooting two shots. First free throw by Wegon is up and good. Bulldogs have the one-point lead, 26-25, 3.21 to go in the first overtime. Second shot by Wegon is up and also good. As Wegon now has seven points. Bulldog on top, Bulldogs on top, 27-25. And almost a steal, scramble. Eagles get the ball back to Walker. Looking for Lawrence, double teamed, Flack underneath, kicks it back out, and we've got a, a back and forth violation. Turnover on the Eagles. So the Bulldogs will have the two-point lead and the ball. 2.56 remaining in the first overtime. Now the Bulldogs are going to hold the ball. I think the Bulldogs are in layup and free throw mode right now. Both teams have three fouls in this second half. So we're a long way from one in bonus. Schaub goes to the basket and he is blocked by Walker and we've got a foul. Civic Memorial cannot believe Walker picked up that foul. So now Schaub will be going to the line. Job will be shooting two free throws. This is where games are won at the free throw line. First shot is up and good. Bulldogs have their biggest lead of the night at 28-25. Second shot is up, no good. Rebound by Walker. Lane travel, that's a travel. That had to be a travel. I didn't even see the official say it, but it was a travel. We've got a buzzer. Bulldogs are gonna take the ball back out of bounds. And we've got a timeout, Bulldogs. They call their fourth timeout. 2.20 to go in the first overtime. Waterloo on top, 28-25. And we'll be back in about 30 seconds. Welcome back to Waterloo High School, where we are two minutes and 20 seconds left in the first overtime. Waterloo on top, 28-25. Yes, that is not a first half score, it is a first overtime score. As we have a very low score in defensive game tonight. Bulldogs with the ball. Gardner takes it across, half court, drives. 
goes off of a Eagle player, so Bulldogs maintain possession. Let's see who will be the trigger man. Looks like it's going to be Gardner, the point guard. Bulldogs setting picks. Back out to Acock. To Gardner. Resets the offense out front. 205 remaining in the first overtime. Gardner thought about driving, pulls it back. Five second count. I don't think he was guarded within three feet there. Well, that's a turnover. So the Eagles will get the ball back. That was the Bulldogs' ninth turnover of the night. Eagles have 10. Helm Camp with the ball into Lawrence. Shot is up and good off the glass for Jacob Lawrence. And it's 28-27, 140 remaining in the fourth quarter. Bulldogs on top. Garner thought about driving, pushes it back to Wigan to Gardner. Gardner again pulls it back to Schaub to Gardner. Gardner used that right hand to push off a little bit, got away with it. So we're down to 110 remaining in the first overtime. Bulldogs on top by one. Wigan. Wigan is fouled by number 15. Tyler Campbell. That is Campbell's. That's his third foul and the team's fifth. Gardner with the ball in the backcourt. Slowly brings the ball across midcourt. Gardner drives through the hole, up and in. Daniel Gardner gets it up over the big guy. Jacob Lawrence and the Bulldogs lead is back to three, 30 to 27. Lawrence with the ball, almost stripped. Three point shot is good by the sophomore. And we're all tied at 30 all with 30 seconds to go, 30-30. I said first one to 30 is gonna win this game. Well, the Bulldogs were the first one to 30, but now it's tied, 30-30. We're down to 20 seconds. And we've got a timeout, Waterloo. Each team gets an extra timeout in the fourth quarter, or in overtime. So the Bulldogs call their fifth timeout of six. So they have one remaining. 18.7 seconds left to go in the first overtime. Bulldogs with the ball in a tie game. So similar to the end of the first half where the Bulldogs missed the shot at the buzzer. They hope to take the last shot and make it this time. The question is, who's gonna take that last shot? It could be anybody. The leading scorer tonight for the Bulldogs is Zach Schaub with eight points. Lenhart has seven. Wegon five. Gardner five. Huffman three. Gardner brings the ball across midcourt. As we are down to 10 seconds remaining. Gardner is fouled by Helmkamp. And that is the sixth team foul. First on Helmkamp. Six team foul. So one more foul and the Bulldogs will be shooting one in bonus. We're down to five seconds left. We got to Acock. One second. Acock shot is up. No good. And guess what? We are going to a second overtime. I sure hope we do not have to go to seven, but I did say it. So we'll be back in about a minute for the second overtime, another four minute period.
Welcome back to Waterloo High School as we're ready to start the second overtime. Jacob Lorenz jumping against Zach Schaub. And the Bulldogs get, get the tip again as Lenhardt comes up with it again. So two jump balls to start both overtimes are, are captured by the Bulldogs. There's Wegon with the shot. No good. Rebound by Walker. Helmkamp with the ball brings it across. Helmkamp underneath it, Lawrence. He is triple team. Shot is up, no good, and we've got a whistle and a foul. Foul is called on Shane Lenhart. That is his first foul, and we are into the second overtime. Lawrence who will be shooting two free throws. First shot is up, no good. Fans are razzing big Jacob Lawrence as he is at the line shooting his second free throw. Shot is up and good. So the Eagles have the lead at 31 30. 325 remaining in the second overtime. Bulldogs stacking the right side here. Pass underneath the Schaub. Up off the glass and in. Zach Schaub gives the Bulldogs back the lead. At 32-31, 3.05 to go. And there's a steal by Gardner. So the Bulldogs have the ball and a one-point lead at 2. 2.50 to go in the second overtime. And Civic Memorial is not putting any pressure on the Bulldogs. So the Bulldogs with the lead. We'll be glad to just hold the ball. Bulldogs run a little offense now as the more pressure is being put on by the Eagles. Pass underneath the shot for the layup, and he scores! Zach Schaub with the bucket. And the Bulldogs have a three-point lead as Acock or uh, Gardner picks up another assist. Helmkamp in trouble. To Lawrence shot off the glass and good. Lawrence cuts the lead to one again, 34-33. One forty-five. as the Bulldog fans are really getting into this game in the second overtime. Gardner thought about the three. The Bulldogs don't need a three. They need a layup or a free throw as we're down to one thirty to go. Wegon with the ball to Acock. Acock dribbles away from Helmkamp. Back to Lenhart. To Schaub, to Acock, to Lenhart. We're down to 110 to go. Wegon from the corner, shot is up and good! Rick Wegon gives the Bulldogs back the three point lead with one minute remaining in the second overtime. Helmkamp with the ball. And a kick by Lenhart. 51.8 seconds to go in the second overtime. Timeout, Civic Memorial. So Civic Memorial has three timeouts remaining. And the Bulldogs have two timeouts remaining. 51.8 seconds left in the second overtime. Bulldogs on top. 36, 33, their biggest lead of the night. In this low scoring Mississippi Valley Conference game, only seven points were scored in the first quarter as CM had the lead five to two. At halftime, it was Civic Memorial 13, Bulldogs eight. 
And then at the end of three quarters, Bulldogs had cut the lead to two, 21 to 19. And then we were tied 25 all at the end of regulation, 30 all at the end of the first overtime. And the Bulldogs have scored six points here in this second overtime to Civic Memorial's three to hold this three point lead. Leading scorer for the Bulldogs is Zach Schaub with 12. Helmkamp with the ball to Lane. To Helmkamp, inside to Lorenz. Shot is up and a, we've got a whistle. And a foul is on Rick Wiegand. That's his first foul of the night. And we are down to 40 seconds remaining in the second overtime. Lorenz at the line, shooting two. First shot is up and is good. Ryan Acock checks back in the game as Reed Huffman snuck in during that last timeout. Takes a seat. Lorenz trying to cut the lead to one as all of a sudden it gets very quiet in the gym. Shot is up. No good. So the Bulldogs maintain the lead at 36-34. Down to 30 seconds to go. Lenhart with the ball. Lawrence is going to have to follow him, and he does. So Lenhart will be going to the line finally on seventh team foul of the Eagles. So Shane Lenhart be trying to give the Bulldogs back a three-point lead and hopefully a four-point lead. But he's got to make the first one. And we've got a whistle and a timeout. Civic Memorial as they try and freeze Lenhart. is we're down to 24.9 seconds left and we'll be back in about a minute for the last 25 seconds of this ball game, hopefully. Welcome back to Waterloo High School as Shane Lenhardt will be going to the free throw line to shoot one in bonus. Bulldogs on top by two. Important first free throw here for Lenhardt. 24.9 seconds left in the second overtime. First shot is up. Yes, nothing but net by Lenhardt. And Shane has eight points tonight. Four under his average. Second free throw by Lenhart is no good. Lawrence with the rebound. And we've got a whistle and a foul. No foul. Ball was knocked out of bounds by the Bulldogs. So Eagles will have the ball down by three. 37-34. Helm camp cut off by the Bulldogs. Walker with the ball, not a ball handler. <clears throat> As we're down to 10 seconds, actually 11.4 seconds to go in timeout Civic Memorial. Welcome back to Waterloo High School as the Bulldogs 
trying to win their ninth consecutive game and run their record to 13 and 5. Right now they are 3 and 1 in the conference. Civic Memorial is 2 and 2, so this is a big win if the Bulldogs can hold on with a 3-point lead. 11.4 seconds remaining in the second overtime. Civic Memorial will either have to have a quick two or a three-pointer to tie the game. Eleven point four seconds left. And CM goes into a stack back to Helm Camp. Looks like they're gonna go for the three-pointer to tie. Helm Camp almost loses the handle. Wild shot is up, no good. And the Bulldogs prevail. 37-34, it's a final. And the Bulldogs raise their record to 13 and five. Nine consecutive wins for the Bulldogs. And we will be back for totals and highlights in a minute. Ed Moeller congratulates the team. He's number one Bulldog fan as the Bulldogs pull off a double overtime win against Civic Memorial, 37-34. And I will have the totals in just one minute. All right, leading the way for the Civic Memorial Eagles was Jacob Lawrence. He had 13 points and about eight blocks unofficially. Jason Helmkamp had nine points. Brett Lane, the sophomore, had five. Tommy Flack, the senior, had four. Lorande Warren, two. And... Ben Walker, too, for a total of 34 points for your Bulldogs. Leading scorer tonight was Zach Schaub with 12 points. Rick Wiegand had nine. Shane Lenhart, eight. Daniel Gardner had five to go along with five big assists. Reed Huffman had three for a total of 37. So I'd like to thank my cameraman tonight. Dylan Hunt for doing an excellent job and the Bulldogs will be back in action on Tuesday night at Granite City so hopefully we'll be doing the play-by-play -play from Granite City coming next Tuesday as the Bulldogs win their ninth consecutive game and run their record to 13-5 and this season. This is your play-by-play -play announcer Lenny Velker signing off for tonight. Good night.